is Walter Unglob, and this is What is Matter in Science? So if you have a material, it has matter. Now what does this mean? It means from a fundamental point of view, all the fundamental particles that constitute this material couple to something known as the Higgs field. And there are many fundamental fields in the universe, and the particular way or inter method of interaction through which the fields associated with each of these fundamental particles uh, interact with the Higgs field imbues these particles with mass. And this mass is typically denoted as lowercase m. And from a classical point of view, there are various properties that matter has, that these massive objects have. For one, they are gravi gravitationally attracted to other masses. And in addition to that, because they have mass, they are very different from other types of particles, such as photons and light, meaning they cannot travel at or faster than the speed of light. So the velocity or speed is, has to be greater, can be greater than zero or equal to zero, but it cannot be equal to or greater than the speed of light, c. So this is a fundamental limit associated with all particles that have mass or matter in the universe. Finally, another important attribute or aspect of matter in the universe is that they exhibit what's known as inertia. And you can think of inertia as a type of resistance of the matter uh, to changing its velocity. And this is where Newton formulated his first law of motion. And the first law of motion states that in an inertial frame of reference, meaning that if you have a constant velocity, meaning it doesn't change in time, that object will continue moving with that velocity or remain at rest if the velocity is zero unless it's acted upon by an external force. And you know, you'll notice that it requires energy, it requires the presence of a force to change this velocity, to change the motion of the, of the matter, of the material. So that's what we mean by inertia. We don't know what it fundamentally is or why this mass exists, but we can describe the properties both in a classical sense and also in a quantum mechanical sense. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is What is Matter in Science? Mm -hmm.